this week. How are you doing? Good. Good. We are outside enjoying this beautiful fall weather. Thanksgiving is next weekend. Really? It is! Yes, and we're so excited for that. We have our family church service coming up next Friday night. So if you are interested in joining, please uh, send me an email or a message through Facebook and we will get you registered. We are going to learn today about how Jesus blessed the children. Good? Yes? So we are going to learn about how Jesus blessed the children. We're going to read from our World Story Bible and then we will come back because I have a few questions for you. Okay. okay. Jesus welcomes children. The disciples were trying to listen to Jesus, but they couldn't hear him. There were so many children laughing and talking. Small children, tall children, some walking, some crawling. Children were everywhere. Jesus, one parent called out, please bless my child. My daughter's sick, another said. Lay your hands on her. Please heal her. The disciples pushed closer to Jesus. They shouted at parents. Take your children away. Jesus is trying to teach adults. He's too busy to talk with the children. Stop, Jesus commanded. The disciples stopped shouting. The parents stopped calling out to Jesus. The children stopped laughing and talking. Everywhere, everyone turned to look at Jesus. Let the children come to me, Jesus said. Do not stop them. The children rushed to Jesus' side. A little girl crawled into his lap. A little boy jumped on his back. Other kids grabbed his hands. Jesus smiled. Jesus spoke to the crowd. Children are important to God. In God's kingdom, it's better to be like a kid. God's kingdom is about loving and sharing. Children love and share with all people. You can learn from a child how to be a part of God's kingdom. Jesus laid his hands on the children, hugged them, and blessed them. What did you think about that story? Good. Good. It's an amazing story about how God loves kids. Did you have a favorite part of that story? No. You're not sure? Okay, can I read you my favorite part again? Because I think it's really important. It's when Jesus spoke to the crowd and said, Children are important to God. In God's kingdom, it's better to be like a kid. God's kingdom is about loving and sharing. Children love and share with all people. You can learn from a child how to be part of God's kingdom. <gasps> People can learn from us how to be a part of God's kingdom. Huh. Okay. What do you think you could do to teach others about God? Um, what could you do to help teach others about God? I don't know. You had an answer before, earlier. Do you remember? What's something you like to do? Crafts. Crafts, that's right. How can you use your crafts to teach others about God? Um. What if you made them about love? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, if you use your crafts that say love, God loves you, I love you. If you make crafts about love, and then share them with others. You're teaching people about God. Did you know that? No. What about, what's another way you can help teach people about God as a kid? Any ideas? Is there anything you could do at the church? Is there anything you're doing right this moment that could help teach others about God? What are we doing right now? Reading about God? Reading about God. Oh, you could ask somebody to read with you about God. Take your book and read. That's a good one. I was thinking about when we make our videos. This is a great way to share God's message with others because we post it on the internet, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're helping teaching about God's word and telling and sharing the stories of Jesus. Um, okay, so I want you guys at home to think of ways that you can share God with others and be a kid who teaches about God and helps adults to learn about God because kids, as Jesus said, are very important to God and in God's kingdom. Okay, there's another really cool thing about this story and that is that Jesus taught, um, he said in other versions of the story, he says that kids belong to God. Belong. Yes. What does that mean? Any ideas? 
No. no, that's really a hard one. But um, here's a question. Who do you belong to? Hmm. Hmm. Who do you belong to? Do you belong to me? Mm. Mm. Kind of. Kind of. Not in a sense that I own her or anything like that. But you are mine. And I will never let you go. I will always love you and always care for you. So that's what Jesus means is Jesus says you are his and he is always going to love you and care for you. Who belongs to you? Hmm. Who are you always going to love and care for? Is there somebody specific? Are you always going to love and care for me? Mm -hmm. no. Or your dad? Mm -hmm. Siblings? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most days, most days. What about grandpas and grandparents? Mm. Do you have a special friend that you really, really love? And they say, that's my best friend. They belong to me, right? I am always going to love and care for them, right? And that is the same with what Jesus was saying, is that I am going to love and care for you. And as a kid, I love and care for you. And you belong to me. And you belong to God's kingdom because we are going to love and care for you. So I have a little craft for you. We are like treasure. So we are going to make a little envelope of treasures. And I want you in this envelope, there are some little cards. I want you to draw pictures of people that belong to you, that you treasure and you care about, right? Because we use the word treasure um, as something that we really care about, love and support. So um, I put mom, I think there's one behind there. There's not actually. I only colored in one. Because I'm leaving the rest blank for you to fill out. So I want you to pick who you love and care for. Who do you treasure? Who are those that you would say belong to you that you love and care about? And I want you to make a little treasure trust. You can dress it up any way you want and talk about those you love and care for. Alrighty? Okay. I think that's all for this week. Yeah? What do you want to say to everybody? Mm. Anything? I want to re remind you all that God loves you. God cares for you and you belong to him. Hope you have a great week. Bye. Bye.